What are you worried about, Renny? Oh, Clico, we have a computer test tomorrow. Our teacher said that the test will be about different types of computer devices. So, what is there to worry about? I know very little about computer devices. Don't worry. I am here to help you out. Oh, really? Thank you. Please teach me more about computer devices. Look, Renny. The devices that we use with a computer are divided into different types. Let us first discuss about input devices. What are input devices? Devices that feed data into a computer are called input devices. What kind of devices feed data into a computer? Why? The keyboard, the mouse or a joystick. They are all used to feed data into a computer. So, they all are input devices. Yes, Rini. I understand. By pressing the keys of the keyboard, we tell the computer what to do and the letters and number appear on the screen. So, this keyboard is an input device. You are right, Rennie. This keyboard, it is called a QWERTY keyboard and it is the most commonly used keyboard. Why is it called QWERTY keyboard? It is named after the first five letters of the top row of the alphabet keys. And these keys are Q, W, E, R, T, Y. Similarly, the mouse is also an input device as by pressing the button on the mouse or by moving it, we command the cursor on the screen to move where we want to move. We use the mouse to open or close files or navigate websites. What about the joystick? The joystick is to an input device. By pressing the buttons on the joystick or by moving it, we command the objects in the screen to move or react while playing video games. Are there any other input devices besides these three? Yes, there are trackballs and light pens that are used with computers are also input devices. You should also keep in mind that input devices other than the keyboard are sometimes called alternate input devices. Is the monitor also an input device? No, Rini. The monitor is an output device. What are output devices? Output devices are devices which show the result of the work done on a computer. These devices are connected to a computer with cables. Monitors, printers and speakers are some of the output devices. Tell me more about each of them. You already know that a monitor looks like a TV. It displays the information on its screen. CRT or cathode ray tube and LCD or liquid crystal display are two types of monitor. A printer is another type of output device. It gets the processed data from the computer and prints it on a sheet of paper. Inkjet printers, laser printers and dot matrix printers are three types of printers. Speakers used with computers are also output devices. They give out sound generated by the computer. Some computers have speakers built inside them and some have to be attached with wires. What about the CPU? Is it also an output device? No, Renny. The CPU is a processing device. Tell me more about the CPU. You should know that the processing is the main step that a computer follows. All processing takes place inside the system, unit or the CPU. The CPU is a box-like case. It contains the hard disk, the motherboard, the CD drive, 
and the Hope Drive. All these information you are giving me, I'm sure I may forget some of them. I need to save them in my pen drive. You surely can, Rainy. That reminds me, is the pen drive also an input device? Well, no, Rainy. The pen drive is a storage device. Storage device? Storage devices are devices which are used to store the work done on a computer. Computer have two types of storage devices: non-removable and removable storage devices. Non-removable storage devices are devices which store data inside a computer. Hard disk are non-removable storage device as it is built inside the CPU. What about CDs and DVDs? They are both removable storage devices. Removable storage devices are devices which stores data outside the computer. Pen drives and CDs or DVDs are removable storage devices. CD stands for compact disc and DVD stands for digital versatile disc. We use these discs to store information permanently. A DVD can store much more information than a CD. We use the CD-ROM drive to play a CD and the DVD-ROM drive to play a DVD. A pen drive can hold much more data than a CD. Computer have a special part called the USB port for pen drives. We can plug in the pen drive in a USB port to display the data stored in it. Pen drives are of different capacities. Thanks, Clico. You really saved my day. Now I know about the differences between different types of computer devices.